What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am back with a video. Um, I am here um, <clears throat> to address the situation that um, I had the other day. Matter of fact, it was Saturday after prayer. Um, I came on um, my YouTube live channel and I made a, 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 a statement and I said that I was going to come with a video and uh, I had went and uh, prepared, prepared that video. Well, that video was made, um, actually edited, ready to go. And then I heard a scripture because I live by the word of God, whether y'all believe me or not. Um, I heard a scripture that says, Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. I heard it out of nowhere. I was at my friend's house. I said, Joe, I, I heard uh, Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. She said, well, that's the Lord. That's the word. I said, well, where does that come from? Because I ain't did nothing, you know. And uh, she said, put it on a shelf. And uh, she said, just wait and see. You don't ever know what, what the Lord is saying, you know. He knows things ahead of time. Yeah, is what I'm saying. And um and so I I I I knew that uh that the Saturday that I had made the video, um, I was I was angry. I was angry when I made that video because uh that's what caused me to go to Saturday morning prayer um in the first place. Because I was very angry. I was angered and I felt um I felt angry and I, and I felt betrayed. I felt rejected. I felt uh, hurt. Um, embarrassed. Forgotten about. Threw on their bus. Rolled over several times. That's how I felt. And I immediately started thinking back about how you birth a child, you raise that child, you love that child with all your heart, and no no wrong could you ever try to bring upon this child. You always wanna, you know, show show your love and that is nourished and put so much invested time into, you know, your children, you know. <laughs> and they say what you put in a child it comes out and when I heard my daughter speak the other night I felt angered because I felt like that's not what I put in you that's not what I put in you I, I put uh, love and nurturing and all everything that I had just named and it seems unfair because it seems like that's what I get in the end, you know. But that was a flesh. That was a flesh talking. No, we're talking spiritual, you know. Um, the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're spiritual through the pulling down of strongholds. And it's exactly what this thing is. It's a stronghold. And a stronghold doesn't come from anybody but the devil himself. Now, first of all, before I go any further, I'd like to apologize to my supporters, the ones who email me to see me enraged like that, to um, say, you know, don't let the enemy get you out your square because your channel is a platform for to reach the lost. Um, to inspire, to encourage, to uplift. And if I was to get on here and release a video trying to prove myself, because I also said, uh, I, I, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a back myself up. I, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody, but I want to. And that's where I went wrong at. I wanted to. It's my channel. I can say what I want to say. But this is not my channel. I can't say what I want to say. 
because I am a child of the living king, regardless if y'all look at that or not. Um, my channel is to inspire. My channel is called by God. I pray over my channel. I ask God to uh, uh, bring my channel to where uh, it would reach many. And the Lord is doing that. I also know that I've gained a lot of uh, subscribers. I'm not sure, was it through drama or whether it was through just my encouraging, inspirational channels and vlogs and everything about just me and my family. But however, nevertheless, God has blessed me. And I am not my own. I am not my own person to do what I wanna do and say what I wanna say. So therefore I had to bring myself back because I was angry even though I had just came out of prayer. How many of y'all know that we are human? We make mistakes. How many of you know that we are Christians and we, 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 we have feelings? You know, um, a lot of people um, put Christians up here as if to say, um, you know, you, you're Christian and you're not supposed to act like that. You're Christian and you're not supposed to have feelings. You're not supposed to get mad about that. You're supposed to uh, uh, feel this way and that way. When we're everyday people just like you. But the but what 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 is the difference is that we can't do what we want to do because we're children of God. And we're when we're called by God, we do the things of God. Um, Paul said we are um, new creatures in Christ. We have put off the old man. Behold, we put on the new. That's what he said. And so... I am a new creature in Christ, so I can't behave like the world behave because then what difference? So how do I reach the lost and I look just like him? I can't reach a center man if I'm looking like the center man, if I'm acting like the center man. That's why a lot of problem, uh, uh, issues go on along in the church. A lot of people that we can't reach in the church because um, people act worldly. People do the same thing you do. Um, what difference would I be if I, you know, I'm coming off on you uh, the way you come off on me? In other words, if you respond to me with an angry fight, I'm not supposed to respond back that way. Um, the Bible says that we ought to turn the other cheek. <laughs> they smote you on your face, uh, uh, smite thee on thy face, turn the other cheek and let them smite the other one. If your brother take your coat, this is the word. Uh, if, the, if your brother take your, uh, uh, your coat, give him your cloak as well. You know, we ain't supposed to fight back and be like, give me back my coat. I, I bought that coat. Give me my coat. No, give me your cloak as well. You know, he must have needed it. But um, I said it all to say, um, I can't help the way I talk, you all. Uh, when I talk about the word of God and I talk about um, scriptures and, oh, this woman talk about God. She seems to hide behind God all the time. She hide behind these scriptures. No, I don't hide behind the scriptures. I stand behind the scriptures. I stand behind the word of God because that's my life. That's what I live. That's what I speak. You know, um, if I'm calling myself a Christian, of course, I'm going to speak the word of God because that's what Christians are. They're Christ-like people. And that's simply what Christians are. Christ-like. Okay. So I, I said all that, all that to say, I, I spoke out of anger. And the Bible also says to be angry and sin not. It was all right for me to be angry. But to act out of it was another thing. Um, I want to apologize for the way uh, I acted. I want to apologize uh, to you all who seem to have taken that the wrong way. Um, you know, to say I'm not, I, I haven't seen that, that side of you. Um, you know, uh, I apologize for calling uh, the trolls <laughs> demons. I thought, you know, somebody said, you're calling them demons, that bothers me. Um, Diamond Dynasty, I watched your uh, your video and uh, I heard what you said. The only thing I don't like is when Mama Love called these people demons. And I was still angry at the time and I said, well, what's the difference for me calling them demons and y'all calling them minions? You know what I'm saying? They demons, they minions. What's the difference? But because I said it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm supposed to be Christ-like and people see that. So I thought about it. I was like, you know, she right. So I wanted to apologize for calling them demons. Um, but I will say this. The enemy has uh, many of spirits and they're called demons. And sometimes he sends demon forces over people. And they, people had this, this drive in them. I'm not going to say that all these people that come in these comments are angels though. You know, but I'm not going to call them demons. I'm going to say they're led by the spirit of the devil. Because ain't nobody going to... Just talk like that and bash like that. 
Um, and so I apologize for that. I apologize for calling people demons because I ain't trying to come off like that. And also said, God said, uh, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. And I'm, how can I draw you if I'm fighting you? Because I'm, it's, it's, it's angry. It, it makes me angry. And I know that the devil, he, uh, he desires to shut me down. He desires to make me discredit God in any type of way that I can. You know, he wants me to misrepresent him and I'm not going to do it. So therefore I'm here, um, in humbleness. Um, I come in peace. Um, and I wanted to get to this video that I was talking about um, concerning my daughter, Queen. Uh, I said, don't come on my channel talking about, uh, I'm bashing Queen when I'm not. Cause I wasn't, but however, I am addressing her name because I am getting to this issue. That's what's going on. As I looked at my child, and by the way, I will call her name and speak her name if I want to. I am the one who named her Queen Naja. How dare anyone would tell a mother not to mention your daughter's name. How dare anyone would tell somebody to leave her alone, let her go on with her life. You know, like you're not a mother and you don't have worries and concerns. Um, how dare anybody do that? You know what I'm saying? So uh, if I want to speak on Queen Naja and mention her name, I will do that. That's my child at the end of the day. Okay. Um, Queen Naja made a video. And y'all seen the video. I don't have to go into it. Some things that um, she said, um, a lot of things she said I didn't agree with. Um, I felt like a lot of things she left out. I felt like she told what was said, but she didn't tell why. Let's put it like that, you know, in some of the parts that she was talking about. And it made me angry because I saw off the top, um, you know, the uh, protection thing. I used to always say to her, you know, you protected them, but you put me out here, you know, you protect them. And I don't want to go there. It's not where I'm trying to go. I'm not trying to bring it over there, but I'm trying to bring it back here. This is where I'm trying to bring it and keep it. She said things that made me angry, which made me want to respond back and prove myself. I, I felt like I had to prove my character. But when I heard the scripture, um, vengeance is mine, said the Lord, I will repay. And I also heard the scripture that kind words turn away wrath. And I also heard that if you hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battles, victory, victory shall be mine. Now, I was hearing different things, seeing different things on um, my Facebook channel, saying be, sometimes you just got to be quiet. Sometimes you just be quiet and let God. Sometimes things is better left unsaid. Silence is powerful. And sometimes silence can be a consent too. You know, if you're not saying anything, um, it's, it depends on what way you're taking it. Me and my friend was discussing this the other day. Um, sometimes silence can be with consent. You're not saying nothing, so that means you did it. And you're not saying nothing because that, you know. But that's that's how the enemy, you know, he would look on things on that side. But I'm look over on this side when we bring it with God. God is powerful and silence is powerful. You know, you keep your mouth. God, God will work it out for you. If you keep your mouth, you know, you don't know um, what you're stopping when you keep your mouth. You know, and I'm saying this to say, to go back here. Um, when I watched Queen, I was angry, but... When I watched it again, at the same time, I can see a stress that's over her. As um, y'all talk and everything, um, y'all make accusations. And some of y'all on point, some of you are not. Some of you are way off in left field. But as I watched my child, I saw stress. And the uh, reason why I'm not making a video. Um, I'm not coming out with a video because what, what any better would I be? If I do the same thing that everybody is expecting, what good would I be if everybody's saying you're bashing your daughter and I'm sitting here saying, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Bring me one video where I bash my daughter. Please, please bring a video where I bash my child. I haven't. But if I was to put that video out, then you say, see, that you did. You bashed your child. So I'm not going to give in to the enemy. Okay. But getting back to Queen, um, as Queen was making the video and she was talking, um, I see a lot of things that y'all didn't see because that's my child. I saw stress. 
I saw worry. Um, I saw um, depression um, because of what she's going through. I, like I said, she's going through postpartum. So why would I turn around and say uh, things more hurtful or things that, you know, could maybe incriminate her or things to, uh, you know, just make her feel worse than what she already feels. You know what I'm saying? Because she's struggling right now. And that's because, like I said, she's going through postpartum. And I was watching Queen. Queen was rocking. And she was looking away. And uh, when she was look, rocking and looking away, she was undecided what to say. She didn't know what to do. She was feeling kind of confused, you know. Uh, should I make this video? I know I shouldn't do this. But then again, I feel pressured. I feel like I, I have to defend this side and this side feeling like this. Oh, well, I'm, I'm feeling like I got to choose. Um, so therefore, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make myself happy. Okay. So she spoke. And whatever made her, she said, happy. She said, it feels like, you know, it's coming in the way of my happiness. And my happiness comes first. Right. Well, Queen, everybody's happiness comes first, baby. Everybody's happiness. And so, um, I just want to say to you, um, that, um, I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy. Um, I want you stress-free. Uh, I just want you to know that, um, I do appreciate everything you do for me. Um, I told you this several times, uh, Queen, I appreciate everything you do for me. You don't have to do anything for me. And I'm not saying all of this because... I'm worried about a car and a house because I just want y'all to know Queen's character. Queen would never make me live under those circumstances. And um, that's not true. But what was said about, I'm, I'm scared, I'm living in fear. I'm not living in fear. That would never happen. I don't care who she would. Um, because of, that's her character and that's how she is. Um, I know I've been painted out to be a monster or whatever. But you can look at the beauty and Queen, as y'all say, she's a beautiful girl and, you know, her personality is humble and everything. She didn't get that by herself. and She was raised in, in that. Um, a loving mother, she had to be under somebody that, uh, you know, invested time and cared about her. You know, the self-esteem that she has. However, on the other hand, um, there's uh, issues that she has that everybody has. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is... Um, she's human. She's human and uh, she makes mistakes and she wants to see what makes her happy. And I, I, I said that if you want to bump your head, go ahead and bump your head. Um, go ahead and bust it to the white meat. I said that out of anger, but also I did not mean it literally when I said it. I said it in the cause of the sense to say, if you happy, if you like it, I love it, baby. If you I try, you want to hurt yourself, go ahead, knock yourself out. I ain't in it. That's what I tried to say in those words. But bust your head to the white meat. It's like not literally saying that to her. So I apologize for that. I apologize for to you for that. Um, I don't want to push her over the edge so I come in peace. I don't want to cause her any more damage than I may have caused her because for my daughter to make a video and I felt like she threw me under the bus. For my daughter to make that video about me when I know the caring mother, loving mother that I am, I must have done something. So I've never, I've always been a type of mother that never was uh, ashamed to go back to my kids and say, I'm sorry when I was wrong. I've never been that type of mother. I've always been open with my kids. Um, I've not, have not been a perfect mother, but what mother is, you know, um, we, we have to lead by example. So therefore I'm trying to do the best that I can as being a mother with what I was taught. So I'm just going to go back here. You can't give everything perfect if you wasn't up under a perfect mother. Okay. And that's not to bash my mother at all, but we our, our mothers are, we're, we're replicas of our mothers. And what I'm trying to say is, is your choice when you become an adult 
to either change some things that your mom taught you, keep the same ways that she taught you. Um, you want to maybe keep keep some of the some of the things that she trained you in. Some of the things you may say, well, I'm a mother now. I want to do it this way. Some of you say, well, I'll take some of the stuff my mom did and uh, I'll just keep all her her ways, her training, because I like the way, you know, I was raised and brought up. And some of us just don't know because some a lot of us don't, you know, even have mothers. So we don't know what to ask. Some were um, neglected, you know, but I never was a type of mother to neglect my kids. Um, I'm not going to say I know know everything and I and knew everything and I still don't know everything. But however, if there is a a, a complaint there to where it is um, made to be a big issue, then evidently it's a problem. So um, for that matter, you know, that alone, I just would like to say, I'm sorry I put you through that. You know, if you felt that way, um... And, and what you basically saying was, I feel like she felt like I was, I was uh, being left, you know, she was being left out. She felt like I left them behind. I didn't feel like that. It was that. But at the same time, maybe, maybe some side of me didn't want to let you go. You know, maybe I didn't. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know how to turn you loose. Maybe, maybe that's what it was. Um. You know, um, somebody spoke to me the other day, which really made a lot of sense. I said, you know, I, she, she said to me, Queen said to me, I want you to be my mother and not my friend. And I told Queen, I have to reprogram that all over again. Um, because for many years, for 23 years of her life, I was her mother and her friend. And, um. I had to look back on my motherhood, of, not my motherhood, but my mother. Um, my mother was the opposite of what I was. She, she, she was not saying that, you know, she was saying she, my mother used, was a mother. She was a mother. She was a 1970s mother. She ain't played. And it, it was like, uh, I'm not your mama. I'm your, I'm not your, she said, I'm your, I'm not your friend. I'm your mama. I'm not your friend. I'm your mama. And she used to always say that all the time. I ain't your friend. I'm your mama. You don't talk to me any kind. You don't, you don't respect me. And that's, and that's how she was. And so I took, uh, like I said about the training, um, I didn't take that for when it came to my kids because sometimes I, you know, uh, back in the day, they used to always say uh, a child is to be uh, seen and not heard. And a lot of times coming up, I was the child and I was seen, but I wasn't heard. And it was a lot of things that I have come up under that I happened, didn't mean to take that, but I did because that's what I was up under and I was raised up under. And I said that to say, so I took it on my, when it came to my motherhood, I said, I'm not going to be like that with my kids. I'm going to be cool with my kids, you know? And, um, and so I became that mother and, and that friend. And so when she said to me, um, I need for you to be my mother and not my friend, it was kind of hard for me to accept that because it came from years of me being a friend and laughing and talking and waiting for Queen to come home from school. And, you know, with all my kids, I do it with Tina and Terrell as well. Um, what happened at school today? You know, oh my God, for real? Girl? You know, it was just, I was, you know, as long as she, Queen wasn't disrespectful, I felt like I could be a friend, you know, because I was like, well, what is my mom talking about when she say, you know, I'm not going to be your friend because you're going to think you're going to disrespect me and think you on the same level. And as a child, I used to say, but no, I'm not. You know, I ain't going to think like that. And, you know, but with Queen, it was like, you know, I was saying, you know, she could, I could be a friend and a mother. I'm good, you know. But then it, you know, kind of crossed over because it was like, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, she had her way to me as a teenager. You know, um, I wanted to be that friend and that mother, but I just have to learn how to be that mother to her. And, um, and, and maybe I, I wasn't realizing that, you know what I'm saying? I, I was holding on, but, um, you know, she felt like, you know, I just want to go and be happy. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not leaving you behind. I just felt like, you know, it was like, can I get a phone call? You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, do mothers get a, dinner date do a mother's you know get you know i thought I, I always dreamed about this like when i was young like i'm gonna do this for my kids and i'm gonna be there like different things you know i do with tina you know uh, i used to do with queen queen knew that um 
It's like, go here, let's go to Walmart, mama, let's go hang out, let's go, let's go to Top Golf. I went to uh, uh, Top Golf with my kids. I, 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 I went to cook out with my kids while they hung out with they, they friends. I guess I was, uh, you know, around in the car, sitting in the car with my phone, but they were all hanging out. And it was just like, you know, that's the type of mother that I am, you know. And so when, you know, Queen, you know, she had her own, she's always been um, kind of independent in that way. So it was just, you know, her being, uh, you know, wanting to grow up. And a lot of people say, well, maybe she just want to grow up. I said, I'm not bothering her. I'm not letting the fact that I'm not letting her grow up. I'm just looking out for her. That's the thing. You're looking out for her. She need to grow up. You know, let her grow up. Let her do her own thing. Let her bump her own head. And so I guess that's what I was trying to do and didn't realize that I was smothering her. You know, um, I don't know. I just thought maybe if, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just that type of mother that anybody, I'm, I'm just, I'm a mama bear. I'm sorry. Don't mess with my cubs. I'm coming. You know, but it's giving off different vibes for people thinking, you know, um, you're not that, uh, you know, where I'm, I'm messy. I'm not a, I'm not a messy person. I'm not, um. Things that my mother had came and said wasn't me. Things that Tina came and said wasn't me. However, um, everybody says, "Well, you, she a child. She under control." Y'all, seventeen year old y'all kids is uh, probably younger than that. Y'all out of control. Y'all on here cussing and aping and you know it's just a lot of things you know being said, and that's not that's not right coming from kids. But yet y'all tell me about Tina, you know. I got Tina now, you know, I got Tina, I got Tina from here. It seems like I'm being passive, you know, it seems like she ain't speaking up. But to tell you the truth is, I'm not going to come out and tell y'all what y'all want to hear because first of all, uh, my life is not a soap opera. This is, this ain't the young and the restless. This ain't, um, uh, one life to live. This is our life. And as I see it, uh, stroll down YouTube and all the stories and I'm like, wow, you know, people saying this is, this is not true. That's not true. This is accusation true, but I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on there and, and, and try to defend myself because I noticed that when I try to defend myself, uh, it gets worse. You know, um, I noticed that, um, you know, I said to myself, why should I make a video? Because they're going to take that and twist that, you know, I made a simple video about how, uh, I wanted a uh, queen to have an abortion back in the day, back in the day, my past. And I was saying, stating how, um, you know, uh, I wanted plant the plans that I wanted for her life as my teenage daughter, not to control her life, but as my teenage daughter. And, uh, it was like, I was wrong. And I was saying that, you know, but it was like the video was just took and twisted. Like she wanted to, so let me, so let me say that she wanted to kill her grandchild. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. The, the fact was that she was in school and I thought that she would be doing, you know, I wanted her to do her best. And as a mother, my mistake trying to be, I'm not God is what I'm trying to say. He had the plans that he wanted for her life, you know, and those were the words that God spoke to me saying, it's not your plan. It's my plan. For I know the plans that I have for your life. You don't give life. You don't, you don't take it away. And that's what I was saying. And I, and I didn't get further into it because I forgot, but that's the, the, that scripture, Jeremiah 29 and 11, that the Lord had gave me concerning that was on the next day. I was like, you know, queen got up all humble and stuff and, you know, cause she wasn't a disobedient kid. She was putting on her clothes. Were you ready to go, mom? I said, queen, we ain't going nowhere. I'm wrong. I'm not going. And she was like, looking like, I said, we're not going. I said, what we need to do is go get you some prenatal care because we're going we're gonna to have a baby. A baby's going to be here. And that's the reason why CJ, his middle name is Jeremiah. Um, she gave me the daps on that. Name him Jeremiah. And um, she said, well, no, Chris want him to be a junior. I said, I understand that. Firstborn son. So, yeah. But give me Jeremiah because that's the scripture. So it was Christopher Jeremiah Sales. 
And that was the story behind that. That was a beautiful story how God turned that out. But y'all took it and made it so ugly and nasty and just took the meaning out of it and picked it out. I was like, oh, you just wanted to have abortion. So that's the enemy. So this is why I'm not coming out with that video because it was going to be ticked and put, twisted and put, you know, like that. And it's destroying my family. I'm not going to destroy my child because y'all want to see uh, drama or y'all call a soap opera. I'm not going to destroy my child because y'all need some views to make your story big and, and get some more money, you know, because it's just all down the timeline. The queen, not your family drama, however it go. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you that to destroy. I'm not going to destroy my child. And I sit up here out of one mouth and say, I love you. Uh, you're my child. And then I turn around and I make something that may push you over the edge after you're already going through postpartum and, and hurt you even the more. If you want to be free, songbird be free that's all i'm saying all i know is i just want you to call your mama every now and then call your mom and say mama i love you how you doing um i just want you to be happy i want the best for you um and and, and, and then all is well all, all is well i just want all is well to be for you i don't want you stressed i don't want you sitting and rocking i don't want you thinking that you have to choose um I, it's not scripture but i heard some uh, uh they said well, back in the day when i was young and i was going through with my boyfriend they used to say if you love something you let it go I'm like well, I, I love it though why would i let it go you know but now that i'm a dog and i'm a, a grown woman i understand that meaning now and i even say that to you as my child i love you I love you. So I love you enough to let you go. And I got to trust that the things that I instilled in you, that you will come back. You know, you have, you know, and then you'll, you know, you'll, you'll find time for your mama, you know. And um, so that's basically what it's about. This this video is just a video of uh, um, saying that I can't be myself on this channel. I have to uh, be who God wants me to be. I have to be who God calls me to be. And I am going to use a scripture because I always use this scripture. Uh, I always use scripture when it comes to uh, my channels because I want somebody else to be encouraged. But the scripture is Proverbs 29 and 11. And it says, A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards. And I'm going to say this in every day. It said, a fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds back. It sounds like a lot of what I was already doing. I was holding back. I wasn't saying anything, which I don't understand why people in the comments would be like, she bashing her own daughter. It's just lies. It was made up, you know, and I could, I could, just, I could just bring one video up where I was bashing Queen. I wasn't bashing my daughter. I held my silence. Um, y'all, y'all can't take and say what my mother says and, and says that that's me. I held silent a lot of times in tears. I held silent a lot of time in prayer. I held silent a lot of times in anger because I really wanted to go off on some people, but I couldn't because why? I have to maintain my character. Uh, at the same time, I'm not afraid of a car in a house. I maintain my character and not act out of character because. I am not going to misrepresent God. I am not going to cause people to turn away from God. The little hope that they have when they come to me and say, Mama, love, you encouraged me. Um, you made me want to go back to church. You made me think about Christ. I thought all these some church people were fake, but here you come. you know. And then I sit up here and say all kinds of things and say what I want to say. Say what I want to say. And then I'm saying people look at me and be like, no, never mind. She ain't real either. So it's not a house and a car that I'm afraid of because God on a cattle on a thousand hills. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And he owns everything. Whatever I ask, and he's a supplier of all my needs. Regardless of what vessel he uses, God is my supplier. This is my blessing. This house and this car is my blessing. This is what God foretold me that I was going to have. And he used my daughter to bless me. And I am very grateful for that. Okay, so it's not fear out of a house and a car. It was the fear out of for the Lord, the reverence and fear of the Lord. And not to say that he, he ain't no bad guy. He was going to strike me down with a hammer. And what I say fear is fear of misrepresenting him, fear of running people off that I'm trying to win to him. We are here to win souls for Christ daily.
daily. And if I slip and fall, like I said, I did mean that I can get back up. Repent, repent. You know, because I'm telling y'all, God is on his way back. I'm not going to be left here. I'm not going to be left here. I don't want to be down here with the scorners, the liars. Everybody, I, 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 I uh, get mad and, and say, I don't want to be down here with the trolls. I don't want to be down here. If you don't change your life to, to uh, day or, or tomorrow, get your life right with God, period, you're going to be left here. But if you don't, or whatever, you're going to be on your way to, to a holy heaven. But if you don't change your ways, you're going to be left here. And I'm not trying to be left here with people who can't stand me, with people who lie on me. If, if, if you say it don't make no sense, well, I'm not going to church because of this person. I'm not going to church because of that person. I don't like them. So I used to think like this. Well, let me get myself right with God and live right because uh, God says love all your enemies, first of all. But why would, if I don't like them, why would I be left with them? If you don't want to, if you don't want to, if you don't like a person, you can't stand them and stuff, you know, don't live like them. When God come back, I'm telling y'all, and it's going to be soon. He going to crack that sky and none of all the stuff that we going through, it's not going to even matter. All the drama that we go through, all the things people say, your everyday living, it's not going to matter when he busts them clouds. I think it was a dream that she told y'all that she had a while back. Um, concerning that, how it was darkness upon the earth, how that mu that moon's gonna drip blood. You know, y'all call it crap all y'all want to. Y'all call me crazy if y'all want to, but y'all gonna look for me. I ain't gonna be here. I'm not gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be caught up. I'm going. I'm going with God. So I'm therefore I'm gonna please God. And this is what this video is all about. It's about obedience to God. It's not about obedience uh, because somebody's holding something over my head. But it's obedience to Christ because obedience is better than sacrifice. And if the Lord asks you not to do something, I'm His servant. I'm not gonna do it. If He and I fought with it, y'all. I fought with it because I wanted to. I wanted to put this out and say no, no, because no, I got, I got to prove myself. No, because mm -mm, this was left out and this one. I'm saying this and I'm saying that. And, and it, it's not about me it's not about me it's about God and I'm, I said that my channel was an inspirational channel and if I keep going on, on about this it's not gonna no longer be inspirational so you, do you see the distraction that the enemy is trying to send no you're not gonna send a distraction on my channel so here on out after this day I am calling peace um I am apologizing I am uh I don't care how, how you so she's so stupid I would have never did that no I'm humble. That's what you call humble. I don't care. Whatever God wants me to do, whatever God pleases God, whatever's going to save and, and um, not set my daughter over the edge, you know, because she's there. She's there, you know, and that's what I wanted to focus on. But I'm going to end this video and I just wanted to say peace, 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 peace. Kind words, they turn away wrath. Kind words. And I'm standing on that because God is not a liar. He's not. He means just what he says. And I just wanted to encourage y'all today. I also wanted to let you know that I want you to live, queen. Live. Um, I wasn't trying to hold you back. I wasn't jealous. Um, it's not about jealousy. I just... You know, when you grow up, you can't have those times where you was free and by yourself. You got a whole family. You got kids and things. and It's just, um, it, just because it changes doesn't mean it's bad. You know, we all grow up. I remember my days of running the streets and my mama never saw me. You know, you just a street runner. You like me, baby. You running street, I'll never see you. I know, mama. It ain't because I love you. I'll be caught up with my friends. I know how that, I know how that is, you know. And um, so if I, I made you feel um, that you needed to go and make a video just to get your point across to me instead of coming to talk to me and you felt like you couldn't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made you feel like you couldn't talk to me, you know. Um, I just want you to know that um, uh, I want you to be happy and go on with your life. And um, if need, need me, I'm your mama. Um, I'm here. So, um, with that being said, peace out in Jesus' name.